Turning now to a highly anticipated series by Academy Award winner Barry Jenkins. He's directed some of the most powerful and consequential films in recent years. They include Best Picture winner Moonlight and the critically acclaimed adaptation of James Baldwin's novel If Beale Street Could Talk. His latest project, The Underground Railroad, premieres tomorrow on Amazon Prime. We met up with Barry Jenkins in L.A. to discuss the series, which has been four years in the making. He said it was the hardest undertaking he's ever attempted in his creative life. Barry Jenkins had long wanted to direct a story about slavery in America. I knew at some point I was going to have to use my art, my voice, to speak to uh, my ancestors. As much as you wanted to film this story, you were also in some ways afraid of it. I was. It's a uh, it's very tricky, delicate, difficult subject matter. The Underground Railroad, based on Colson Whitehead's Pulitzer Prize winning novel, tells the story of Cora Randall, a slave in the antebellum South who flees a Georgia plantation. There is nothing here but suffering. Pain and suffering. It is time to go. In the novel's reimagining of history. Next, free your runaway. I'm not sure. The Underground Railroad isn't symbolic, it's real. A network of tracks beneath the southern soil that leads to freedom. That's just how Jenkins had imagined it growing up. And so when I first heard the conceit of Colson's book, I thought, oh, this is it. Yeah. And for me, it was about chasing that childhood feeling. You felt it was important to tell this story in mm -hmm. an epic fashion. I did, yeah, I did. Remembering as a child, it wasn't Superman, it wasn't Batman, it wasn't Spider-Man, it was the Underground Railroad. Mm -hmm. To me, that was larger than life. The fantasy for me was my ancestors built trains underground in secret. Harriet Tubman was on the front of the train with a shotgun, picking people off, you know? <laughs> yes. Now, we didn't go that far in the recreation of this show, um, <laughs> but that was the feeling, and th that's epic with a capital E. Cora, played by South African actress Tuso Mbedu, chases the promise of freedom through five states. Everybody keep telling me how special I am. What good is a railroad if only special folk can take it? Yeah, I made that one up like two days before we shot it. You made the scene up. That is not in the book, yeah. yeah. I was like, we, she needs to interrogate this world. Right. So this is what we came up with. You came all this way on the railroad? Yeah. I left behind all those peoples. As Jenkins planned the filming of the 10 episode series, he found that few of the old slaves' quarters remained in the South. So you basically built your own plantation? We built it, for, I mean, the whole thing. We planted sugar cane, we planted cotton, we built all the cabins. I had never stood in a cotton field before, and standing in that cotton field was heavy, heavy. And it was hard to not be emotionally swept up in the fact that I was walking through history. Mm -hmm. And some of that history is very difficult to process. Did you get emotional on the set? I did a couple times. You a did? A couple times. Yeah, yeah, I did. You're uh, smiling. <laughs> no, because it surprised me, man. You actually brought a therapist to the set. I did, I did. Did you ever need her? Not that I knew, uh, <laughs> but there was a day where she came to me, and she pulled me aside, and she said, hey, you need to come talk to me. I said, what are you talking about? I'm fine. I got to be strong for the crew. And I'll never forget, she said, Yes, but who is going to be strong for you yeah. if you keep holding all this weight? Shooting the nearly 10-hour series took 116 days. You were warned going into this by some director friends mm -hmm. that this was an epic task. Mm -hmm. I was, and I, I, it was Steven Soderbergh and Carrie Fuganaga. Both told me it was impossible <laughs> and it was going to kill me and I was going to retire somewhere in the middle of production, but that I would ultimately keep going. Uh, and all those things were true. They were. Yeah, yeah, I retired at least five times in the making of this show. <laughs> <laughs> but Jenkins finally made it through those 116 days of filming. Then as editing began, protests over the death of George Floyd broke out. And I thought, I wish I could go back and rewrite the show and make it speak to all these things that are happening mm -hmm. in the world right now. Didn't have that luxury, so we kept editing, and then of course I realized, oh, it's all here, because it's always been here. 
When the trailer for the Underground Railroad was released, Jenkins saw himself becoming a subject on social media. And there was one thread of the conversation that really bothered me. It was, we don't need images of slaves, we need positive imagery. And what I hear in that is inherently any images featuring my ancestors are inherently negative. Yeah. And I just can't accept that. What it shows me is we actually need more of these images yeah. so we can take back their legacy and recontextualize it. The series is about the darkness of slavery, but it's also a story of survival and triumph. Yes, it is. A story Jenkins says we've only just begun to tell. You see yourself as having a responsibility now. Oh, absolutely, man, especially being black. And this is, this is the real, real. I have to make it so undeniable. I have to be so good every damn day. Mm -hmm. Because if this show doesn't work, it might mean someone else, how are they gonna get the funding for that if my thing doesn't work? Yeah. It's a brutal way to go about making art, um, but I was born black in America, man, it's true. And all those sets that Jenkins says they built for, for this series, he has left standing. Yeah. Uh, he wow. says because he wants people to continue to tell this story in as many ways as, as they can find it. I say let the church say amen to what he just said. That's, and uh, listen, I haven't seen it yet. I can't wait. It's extremely powerful. That's what Oprah said. Oprah, Oprah who very, very rarely watches TV, said it's one of the most powerful things she's it's ever seen. It's beautifully shot. It's ex beautifully acted. Yeah. It's extremely powerful. I asked him because it was entirely shot in Georgia. And I said, given what's happened in Georgia with the voting rights laws and the protests, how do you feel? He said, well, this story was based in Georgia. That's why we shot it there. But he said, today, he said, if I was starting again, he said, I'd shoot it somewhere else. Oh, Can't wait to see it. Thank you, Barry Jenkins, though. Yeah, I, I can't wait to see it, too. Me, too.